Over 40% of the revenue for my e-commerce business comes from Klaviyo. This is an insane amount. If you're looking to generate a ton of revenue from Klaviyo, this video is gonna talk about what the best flows for e-commerce are on that platform. I'm Stephanie Parks of The Media Captain. Today we're gonna get into which flows are the best ones for you to set up for your e-commerce business. What is a Klaviyo flow? A Klaviyo flow is an automated series of messages, emails that are triggered by a certain event. So for example, let's say somebody places an order on your site and you want to have a series of emails sent out. The trigger will be the placing of the order and then you can set time delays, you can set different conditions for when people are receiving emails. Flows are incredible because when you're sending email campaigns out to your whole list or different segments of your list, these are emails that are all going out on one day. The beauty of a Klaviyo flow is that you're having emails go out all the time, essentially, based on when people take certain actions on your website. Before we started using Klaviyo and we would send out email campaigns through MailChimp, we would have these huge spikes in our revenue on days when we were sending out campaigns. Now we have emails that are literally going out to different people every single day. So yeah, we're still seeing big spikes in our revenue when we're doing big promotions or big sales through our email campaigns. But all across the board, our revenue raised based on doing these flows. So what am I going to talk about today? I'm going to walk you through what the best flows, what the best Klaviyo flows for an e-commerce business are. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you. I'm going to walk you through this. These are the flows that have worked the best for us. Um, Klaviyo also gives a lot of recommendations as to what flows you can set up. However, based on our e-commerce business, our agency where we work with hundreds of clients. And this is what we're seeing as the best flows that you should set up. This is where you should start when you're getting into your flows for Klaviyo. Um, for Derm Warehouse, we have been using Klaviyo for, for many years at this point. So we've really pushed the envelope when it comes to setting up different flows. From a revenue perspective, these are the flows that are the most successful for us. So the first flow that has that always works wonders for us is the welcome series flow. So what is a welcome series flow? You've probably seen on um, many different websites a pop-up on the homepage. So this is the Durham Warehouse site. This is our e-commerce business. We have um, we sell about 100 brands of skincare products. So you can see here, when you get to our site, there is this pop-up that comes up for 20% off of your order. This pop-up is extremely important, and capturing email addresses is extremely important on any e-commerce business because you can use those email addresses for remarketing. So let's say you're spending money on any kind of paid advertising. So we're spending a lot of money on Google ads. We're spending money on Facebook ads. When we're driving traffic to our site, we know that not all of that traffic is going to convert right away. So we want to make sure that we're getting the customer's email address. That way, for anybody who doesn't convert right away, we can be sending them you know, our welcome series flow, our different flows from Klaviyo, our email campaigns, in the hope of converting them down the road. So really having this pop up and then your welcome series email, this is a way of making the most out of your advertising dollars. So let's go back to the welcome series email. So the trigger for this email is when someone subscribes to that pop-up or our newsletter that is listed on the bottom of our site. Um, the welcome series flow, basically it just gives you whatever offer you're giving with the pop-up on your site. This is an email that sends out the offer. For us, we give a 20% discount and we actually put the discount code on the last screen on the success screen of the pop-up. The reason that we do this is we feel that even just going from your homepage to email and then back to your website, you may lose people. So we want to give them that code right away. But for all of those people and for anybody who, you know, gets distracted, isn't ready to order right away, they're also getting the code in their email. So 
you can see here that um, this is what all of the flows will look like within Klaviyo. It's really cool. You can get very detailed and very granular in what you're doing. All the flows I'm gonna go into today are a little bit more basic, but like I said, we've really pushed the envelope with what we're doing with Klaviyo. So if you have any questions about any other flows, make sure you contact the media captain because we can definitely help you with anything that you're trying to do. This flow, um, I used to have this set up as a three email flow. This, the, the last email never really generated that much revenue for us, and so I turned that one off. At this point, I feel like if somebody isn't making their purchase after two emails, they're probably not ready to purchase yet. They can keep this discount in their inbox. So we have this set up with um, right when they subscribe to the newsletter. So the second they put their email in there, they're getting an email with this 20% off discount. The reason you wanna make sure that this goes out right away is because if somebody's waiting for a discount, they're ready to make a purchase, you don't wanna make them wait to get something in their inbox. I have certainly been shopping at sites and I put a code in, I'm ready to check out and I'm waiting for the coupon, which is really annoying. And sometimes you know, they lose me if I don't get that right away. So they get email one. And then we wait one day and we make sure that, you know, the customer has not placed an order already after this email. And then they'll get welcome series two, which is kind of just a shortened version of, of email one. So I'll go into here really quickly. You can see we're very straightforward, 20% off Durham Warehouse. And we always like to just keep these emails really simple. Don't overthink it. We are giving people the discount. We're sending a little message, giving the code, and then giving them uh, the top categories to shop. So that is the welcome series flow. Next I'm gonna talk about is the abandoned cart flow. This flow is amazing for anybody who comes to your website, adds something to the cart, but then they don't check out. So you can see here the trigger for the abandoned cart flow is started checkout. There are a lot of people that will come to your site. They're intending to make a purchase. Maybe they get distracted. Maybe something comes up. Maybe they're price shopping. Maybe they're just waiting for some kind of discount to come to them. Our abandoned cart flow captures thousands of dollars in what otherwise would have been missed orders every month. So it's incredible. Anyway, so the trigger here is when they started checkout. We also wanna make sure we add some flow filters onto this. So we wanna make sure that the person has placed an order zero times since starting the flow. And I also um, add a trigger for anybody who has, basically we wanna skip anybody who has been in the flow already in the last seven days. We don't want people getting this email every single day, multiple times a day. So we wanna make sure that they're just getting this email you know, once a week. Clavio has this, automatically set up if you use one of their templates, which they do have templates for all of these flows that we're gonna go over to make it really easy to get started. Um, they have it set for 30 days, but I think that that's too long. So we went ahead and changed that to, to seven days. Um, you'll see here, we also have something called trigger filters. There are some of our brands who don't allow a 20% discount, so we're excluding them from this email, so that's all that, I'll, that all that that is, and I'm not gonna go over that in too much detail. Um, but you do wanna make sure that you don't send this to anybody who placed an order, and anyone who, you know, you don't wanna make, you wanna make sure you're not sending this too often. Um, you have to be a little bit careful with all of Clavio's triggers and conditional splits. So they get a little confusing sometimes with how the language is worded. So just make sure, I always, when I do something that I, I'm not 100% sure about. I always make sure I just get somebody else's opinion on it and say, hey, does this make sense? Is this gonna work how I want it to work? And then make sure you're also going back and checking your flows like the first few days after you get them started to make sure that they're working properly. So anyway, someone starts checkout but hasn't placed an order. We wait four hours and then we send them email one. Um, you can see here, we have an A-B test going for our email one. We wanted to test um, what the email looked like with a little bit of messaging at the top and then going into the cart versus having the cart 
Im the, the images from the cart right away. So I'll go ahead and show you these. Okay, so you can see here that in this email, we have some messaging, don't leave this cart behind. We give them their 20% off coupon, and then this will pull in whatever is in the customer's cart. So this is like the really amazing thing about Clavio is that people are getting an email with exactly what's in their cart. So this person was purchasing, looking at a product from a VEN, and if you click on this button, it will take you right back to their cart so you don't have to add products back into the cart it'll take them right back there so they can just finish their checkout so that is the abandoned cart flow again this flow has really done wonders for us um it creates it, it generates so much revenue for us every month we wait another day and then what we do here is Instead of just sending another email, if somebody has consented to re receive SMS, we will send them a text message. The text messages for Abandoned Cart are amazing. Let me show this to you. When you go in, you will actually get a text message with the picture of the product that you left in your cart. So that to me is just so awesome. We personalize this, so we put the person's first name in here, and um, then we make sure that they have a link to their cart. So the other thing that I wanna go over is that setting this up from the start, if you're doing it from scratch, can be a little bit tricky. So make sure this is a, a, a block, this is a table that will pull in the exact product or the exact cart that your customer had, or your, your customer was shopping with. So make sure that um, you use the, the Clavio template because the template for abandoned cart will have this block in it. You can just save this as a favorite, which you do by clicking this little star button. I'm gonna save this as abandoned cart block. Um, so that way, anytime you need this, it's really easy for you to find. All right, next up, is our browse abandonment email. So you might be asking, what's the difference between browse abandonment and abandoned cart? Abandoned cart, like I said, is when somebody adds products to their cart, so they're ready to check out, and then they don't end up checking out within four hours or whatever time frame that you set. The browse abandonment is a little different. This sends an email. If somebody is just looking at a product on your site and then they drop off, even without adding it to their cart, they will get this browse abandonment email. The trick to this one is that this only will be sent out if the customer has put their email address into the Clavio pop-up. So someone comes to your site, they put their email address in here, and then they start looking at products. Then we have their email address and we can um, send them you know, we can target them with this browse abandonment email. So if somebody viewed a product, and then again, same thing here, we need to make sure we add some filters to this. So the trigger filters, I'm not gonna pay attention to right now because those are just products that we wanna exclude. But for this one, we wanna make sure they looked at a product, but they did not start checkout, they did not place an order, and they have not been in this flow in the last seven days. For this one, we're only gonna wait two hours. That is a Clavio recommendation. When it comes to timeframes, I tend to go with whatever Clavio recommends just because they have experience from thousands and thousands of customers. Then we go into email one, which looks very similar to the abandoned cart email. I'll show you that in a second. With the abandoned cart email, in the example that we looked at before, that person only had one item in their cart. For the browse abandonment email, or sorry, going back to abandoned cart, they only had one item in their cart. If someone had five items in their cart, that email would have showed a list of all five items. This person, this email, the browse abandonment, no matter how many items they look at, they're only gonna show one of those. So you're not gonna get a whole list of everything you are browsing. You're only gonna get a list of one thing you are browsing. So after the two hours, we're gonna wait a day if they're consented to receive SMS, we're gonna send them a text message. And then if they're not, we're gonna send them a reminder email. So for part two, they're either getting a text message or they're getting an email. Um, you can see here, we also have 
uh, an A-B test going. It looks very similar to the last email. Um, with this one, you can see we've done over $5,000 on this browse abandonment email a browse abandonment email. So we're doing a ton of revenue on these. This email is super important. It has done so well for us. Let me show you what it looks like. It's very similar to the abandoned cart. Different people are getting it. So like I said, we like to keep it simple. Um, we have, you know, messaging, their 20% off code, and then they're going to see products. We also have a product block for people to, um, for people to, to view other products that they might like. We have uh, a feed for just popular products. And what Clavio can actually do is it can, um, it can customize this based on what people are looking at. So really cool functionality with that as well. Okay, that's the, abandon, that's the browse abandonment email. So we've gone through the welcome series. We've gone through abandoned cart. We've gone through browse abandonment. So these are all flows where we're capturing people kind of right away at the very beginning shopping stages before they place their first order. The next flow that I'm going to go into is a replenishment reminder. This is what's going to get people a little bit further down in the funnel. So for us, we sell skincare products. We want, um, most people are shopping for their skincare products every two to three months, they need to refill them. So this replenishment reminder will go out after three months. You can see here, this is for somebody who, when we fulfill an order, so someone places an order, they haven't placed another order since starting the flow. And then we wait 90 days. So they go 90 days without placing an order. And then we send them an email reminding them to come back and place another order and we give them 20% off. We know three months is about the time that they're going to be restocking their skincare products. So we want to let them know, hey, it's time to reorder. Come back and shop with us again. So you can see here, um, we've missed you. It's time to reorder. Again, we're going to pull in the product that they bought from us. And then we want them to place their order again. So they can click on this, they can go right back to that product and add it to their cart again. They can sh or they can shop all skincare. Uh, but this email is another one that's highly customized because it tells them exactly what the product was that they had and it tells them, hey, it's time to reorder. So imagine being close to running out of one of your favorite products and you get a reminder email with the discount. You're like, hey, okay, I am ready to go. Like I said before, between all of our flows, it's just amazing because we have emails going out every day. The amount of revenue that's coming in when you know we're sleeping, when we're working, we're not putting any effort in after the initial setup of these is really incredible and it's game changing. I remember when we first started using Clavio and we set these up and all of this additional revenue was coming in, my mind was literally blown. So super exciting. Um, these are the top four flows that I would re recommend getting started with. But again, you can really push the envelope in what you do with Clavio. These are all our top revenue generating emails. But we also have a lot of emails that that are in a lot of email flows that get sent out that don't have a purpose of generating revenue. They have a purpose of just being great content and being good information for our customers. For example, for our top 10 products, let's say, we have an email going out um, called Pro Tips where somebody places an order and the next day they get an email with pro tips about the product that uh, pro tips for the product that they place. So it tells them how to use it. It tells them what other products might do well with it. It tells them if there's anything special about the product. So that email is not meant to generate sales. You know, we just got a sale from them. It's just meant to be a value add from our company. So this video is covering top revenue generating Clavio flows for e-commerce. I'll definitely get into another video talking about um, other types of flows that you can set up just for, you know, good customer service and to be a value add for the customer. So again, my name is Stephanie Parks. I am with The Media Captain. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions about, um, about 
Clavio or anything else digital marketing related, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. This really helps us. So please give us a follow. And if you have any questions, you can find us at themediacaptain.com.